Hey kids, Peter Von Panda here. I uh, wanted to show you the Fiat 500 vinyl front bra from <laughs> clearly a French company called La Bra. Okay, it's probably not French at all. But uh, this is something that you would have seen really um, <clears throat> in the 80s on a lot of cars. I've had one on a car prior to this, and I wanted to show you uh, some of the things that were unique about this, or at least different from the one I had before. Uh, obviously this one is cut specifically for the Fiat 500, and I don't know if they come in other versions, but this one is for the pop, and it does a good job of fitting that uh, the front contour and also the opening, the cutouts in the front, as you can see the um, the mesh cut on the, on the, the bottom, as well as the slit uh, at that air intake is specific to the pop. Obviously this car hasn't been cleaned. It I just got back from a road trip and the bra is covered in bugs which is part of its job but it's uh, pretty nice and it's one of the it's a pretty thin black vinyl and the back of it is a little bit different. On one of my other cars it was definitely like a white like a cotton felt but this is much more like a uh, a mesh. It actually kind of feels like um, a nylon, oh, like a gauze uh, type of texture. It's, it's, it's got a lot of holes and they're pretty well spaced apart and I was a little bit worried because it wasn't that really soft felt if it was going to scratch the paint but I think because the bra sits so tight it's not going to really move around much and it doesn't really have any sharp edges or anything but it's it's definitely not soft like a microfiber but that's pretty probably intentional because as it gets wet it probably won't trap uh, moisture or stay wet and uh, maybe get mildewy or whatnot so so far no problems there uh, one of the other things that I wanted to show you here is that uh, in Illinois we are required to have the front license plate and I my thought was to put it on the car and then cut around the license plate just to have a hole to make the bra quickly removable but in this case because it's such a tight fit it wouldn't actually, I couldn't actually get the hooks onto the fenders with the license plate in, in place. And on top of that, because it's got this big opening, the slit across here, with just these little uh, Cordura nylon straps that hold the top and the bottom, I felt if I cut out this part, it would obviously give nothing for these straps to hold onto, and this part would flap up, and these parts would fly outward. So what I ended up having to do is take off the license plate, put the bra on, uh, punch a couple holes where the screws go, and then put this license plate holder back on. The drawback to that is obviously this bra is essentially permanent without a screwdriver to pull off the license plate. So that's something to keep in mind too on the Fiat itself. Uh, down at the bottom, again, it's got this nice nylon mesh. You can see it works pretty well at keeping out the bugs and the road chips. And uh, like I said, I got this originally because I was getting a, a quite a bit of road chipping down on this lower lip, but also up here on this flat part as well as the leading edge of the hood. So this is kind of retroactively trying to take care of um, uh, some of the uh, protection issues I had. The other thing that's different here is that on the last bra I had, it actually had kind of these metal tabs that were covered in a black felt. And so you just kind of bent them around wherever the the bra ended up meeting this lip of the fender. On this one, it's got these little pull tabs and little plastic, you know, three quarter inch tubes. And so these actually, you have to pull this black tab around to, to get some length on it. And then you slide that uh, tube onto the rolled edge of the sheet metal. I was a little worried about it. You can kind of see it you know, pretty good right there. The um, I was a little bit worried about it uh, scratching the paint so far I, I, they don't seem to have moved and they might be a little bit but they do stay in place pretty securely because the bra fit is so tight up at the top is where it gets a little loose so right here on the um, where the the hood or the hood lid meets the fender there's really nothing to clip them onto and so actually what you have are just these little plastic flat tabs um, nothing in, nothing uh, particular bottom to create a mechanical uh, connection but you're just supposed to kind of slide them in here slam the lid shut the hood shut and it's supposed to just hold it in by friction I was a little worried about that too but that seems to work quite well so um, I was thinking of maybe trying to drill a hole in that and, and put a little wire to kind of bail it down to uh, a, 
a mounting point underneath the, the hood, but it's not a big problem. On this side, you can see it's kind of slipping out, and I have pushed those back in before. Uh, I think it's just the wind that keeps tugging on it, so maybe there's a better way to secure it, but so far, so good, and it hasn't been a big problem. Um, I will try to run this thing through the car wash and see if it cleans up and make sure that it doesn't trap any moisture behind it, but I don't think that'll be a, a big issue. One of the other things that I do find that was kind of nice is if you can see on the very top edge of this, the, the upper part of the bra, there's a, just a little bit of a squished piece of extra vinyl there that's sewn together. And it creates a, just a little bit of a front spoiler, kind of all the way across. Now, I have taken this car on two separate road trips, one to West Virginia and one to Michigan. And I did not have it for the West Virginia uh, trip. And I noticed that during that trip, I had just a ton of bug carnage on the windshield. Now, that being said, I think that area of West Virginia and Ohio that I was going through was a little more heavily um, populated with bugs. But as you can see on my last trip to Michigan where I did have this, there are plenty of bugs on the front of the car and I did not stop at any point to clean the windshield. One, because the only gas station that I stopped at didn't actually have any washer fluid in the, um, the uh, little bins there, but uh, this, this may have actually worked extremely well to deflect wind over the windshield as opposed to right at it. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that too. Again, this is the vinyl front car bra from LeBra, and for the Fiat 500 Pop, uh, definitely a worthwhile investment, I would say, on this one. That's Peter Von Panda out.